So hi, hi, Gauri, how are you? I'm perfectly fine, sir. Looking forward for this interview. Okay. Thanks for asking. What about you? Okay, I'm I'm also fine. Okay, so can you uh, can you introduce yourself? Yes, sir. My name is Gauri Kari, and I'm from Vanchanagar. I have completed my bachelor's of engineering in information technology from Pune University. Talking about my skills, I have knowledge of different computer languages such as HTML, SQL, Python, etc. I am a, a result-driven person who can think about different scenarios and can generate different test cases. I also have hands-on experience on different tools like uh, SQL Developer, SSMS, Python, sorry, Python, uh, Git, GitHub, uh, and uh, uh, Jira for defect tracking. Uh, talking about my uh, work experience, I have total 3.6 years of experience. <laughs> Uh, from which, uh, in which I have worked on different uh, uh, projects with different domains. Uh, in the beginning phase, uh, around 1.5 years, I have worked in uh, I have worked in uh, ETL testing, and uh, recently, from last two years, I am working with automation. In ETL testing, my responsibilities was uh, to analyze the extracted data. Uh, to check whether uh, it is extracting properly and uh, to check the transactions uh, and uh, correctness of the data. And uh, in ETL testing, we have used uh, PyTest framework uh, for development and uh, for writing the test cases uh, in which uh, we also include different features like uh, different features, what we can say, like uh, uh, different uh, data driven testing parameterized testing uh, and uh, this kind of features and uh, we use uh, uh, git repository to save all these uh, project details so that any stakeholder can access this uh, this uh, project data from anywhere and we also used a ci cd tool jenkin now talking about my um, goals my short term goal is to become a, a financially independent and my long term goal is to uh, uh, to uh, become a skilled software engineer and uh, fix my position into reputed company as years okay. looking forward into automation testing that's okay. all about me thank you sir. okay so, so 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 it's good to hear you like uh, so uh, can you tell me gauri uh, like uh, as a as you have told as a etl tester now you have shifted to the automation part right yes, so uh, just i want to uh, i'm curious about like how your day starts in your company as a etl tester uh, at that time and now how your day is like started as an automation tester so can you uh, tell me okay there's not uh, uh, much uh, difference between etl testing or uh, automation uh, we mm -hmm. overall we use agile method that's why the day will begins with uh, email checking whether we are getting any new update emails from client or our senior members we will go through that then there will be meeting uh, daily meeting in which we discuss what we have done till yet uh, what we are going to do now and uh, which uh, exact points we are going to cover uh, to complete our sprint and which backlogs are there uh, that we're supposed to do and whether any uh, new uh, upgradation, upgradation or uh, new feature addition from the client side and afterwards we will do our work as per the requirement okay so you have told you had a one meeting so can you tell me what is the name of meeting that you are being participate daily stand up meeting sir daily stand up meeting. on daily basis okay on on daily basis okay so uh, in your company like uh, what is the exact sprint time uh, like as uh, you have been following agile methodology right so yes so just i want to know one thing like what is the exact period of uh, one sprint in your company uh, minimum it will be around two weeks and if uh, the sprint means uh, the task the features with, which we want to develop are uh, more complicated then maximum it will take around four weeks okay means it depends on the functionality what you can yes see, right? yes sir Okay, complex okay. so 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 can you uh, so can you tell me like how was uh, how is your agile device plan in your uh, company let's uh, let's assume like uh, we are going to start our sprint so can you tell me like what is exact agile device plan in your company and how you are following that um exact means according to me first we will get the, the requirements from client okay mm -hmm. 
then our scrum master or the ba whoever the senior managers or other people will develop one document uh, which will called as a, a project backlogs uh, then that okay. then that will be divided to the scrum backlogs means they will divide that whole task into uh, sub uh, sub modules uh, sub task and uh, that's that sprint mm -hmm. is a sprint mm -hmm. uh, then uh, we will get that sprint or uh, everyone will uh, means a developer team and the testing team get the that sprint and the uh, responsibilities what they exactly want to do uh, regarding uh, means uh, in it in case of etl we will uh, get the mapping document etc or in case of uh, automation or manual <coughs> we will get SRS documents and accordingly we will start our work. Uh, first, uh, particularly talking about testers, we will uh, develop the test cases. We will get it reviewed by our BA or uh, Scrum Master. And once they are fine, uh, we will get, uh, sorry, uh, there are four types of review actually. First, we will review itself by ourselves only. Then by our test, uh, means our colleague, colleague the team members so, so what is what is the name of that uh, review as you have told uh, that is been done by our colleague right? or uh, by colleague it will be peer review peer review okay. Peer. Okay. okay okay then afterwards the internal review will be there and uh, the external means client side review will be there if everything okay. is fine then we will go for the test case execution sorry test okay. case ha, right test case execution Test case executions, okay, yeah. uh, that, uh, that's fine. So these are the particular ways, uh, like uh, means agile device planning that you are following in your company. Yes, right? yes. So, so can you tell me like what is SQA? Sorry. What is SQA? Software quality assurance. Uh, SQA is the process. Uh, software quality assurance means uh, once we get the build from developer team. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, we start uh, uh, testing it, means we are uh, executing our test cases. And uh, uh, while doing that, if we find any bug, we will uh, uh, we will uh, approach to developer again to resolve that bug. Uh, and uh, once uh, if uh, he is ready with another build, then we will uh, retest it again. And uh, if it is clear without any bug, then we will send it to the server. So, so in simple words, in SQA, that is nothing but we can say is nothing like it is a process of measure and monitor. monitor yes, yes. Build which you want to deploy or application in simple yes, words. Input, output, uh, input uh -huh. output will be included over here. Right, 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 right. Uh, so can you tell me for SQA, it also has some of the parameters that we have to keep in mind. So can you elaborate that parameters for the same? Parameters in what sense means I didn't get your question. So in SQA, right, we have to keep in mind, like we have to follow some of the parameters for the same. Right. We have to follow some of the parameters. So can you tell me like what is the exact that parameter that we have to follow in software quality assurance while developing or while testing the same? Parameters are the same. No, sir, I'm unable to recall it okay so in that we can we can say we have to keep in mind such a way like we have to understand the risks of the project right tired delivery what is the exact risks uh, involved while delivering what is the customer requirement customer satisfaction rate what we can say right and okay. we can also tell like what is the cost of the project okay, okay. what is the cost of the project which included right so it all this this kinds of parameter are comes under the SQA, what we can say, SQA or nothing but only software quality assurance, uh, what okay. we can say. So can you tell me what is product backlog? Uh, product backlog is the uh, total um, means uh, main requirements which we get from the client and we listed them out. Uh, means okay. kya bo the rough functionalities means uh, they are not in our uh, technical words, they are just uh, sentences which we are going to implement in our technical work. Okay. So a product backlog is nothing but we can say is nothing but and the main requirements of the project or the whole yes. requirements of the project. Okay. Yes. So yes. then can you tell me what is sprint backlog? Which one? What is sprint backlog? Sprint backlog means uh, uh, one one product backlog can have many sprint backlog backlogs means okay. one product backlog can be divided into sub parts which we okay. are going to implement as a test okay. cases or uh, okay. whatever the requirements are given. Okay, so they, they will backlog is 
in simple words we can say product backlog is nothing but we can divide it into a uh, number of small parts or yes. that is nothing but we can say as an the user story for the same yes okay so uh, so can you uh, tell me let's suppose there is a one scenario okay you got you got a build build one okay in that you have designed the test cases according to that build okay, okay. developer has done unit testing and uh, they have sent the build to the sit environment or the qa environment what we can say okay, okay. after uh, means you have got the build you have done the testing for the same on that particular build okay on next day you have got the another build but in that the ui has got changed somewhat let's suppose you have the radio button from that radio button you have got the check boxes okay right? okay and then same things happen again and again then what is your approach as a qa like uh, to avoid such kind of things like so wh how, what kind of like approach you are following See, once the test cases has design is completed, okay, you have got, I am repeating my question once again for your better understanding. You have got one build, okay, in that developer has done all unit testing very well. The okay. build has sent to the SIT environment. You have also tested it very well, right? Then yes. you have got the second build, okay, but in that the UI has got changed. Let's suppose yes. instead of radio button, you have got check boxes, okay, and these yes. things is happening again and again. So as a QA, what is your, uh, what we can say, like how you can tackle this situation? Okay, first of all, we can't uh, restrict the developer to uh, design a particular UI according to us. That's why he will, he is going to make the changes. We can't restrict him. Uh, the second point, I will uh, try to uh, change the each and everything uh, from my test cases. For that, uh, I have to pass from each uh, means uh, whatever locators I'm using, I have to change all of them, but still it is a critical task. So uh, I have find uh, one solution around one and a half month ago uh, in which uh, we can use selector hub. Uh, over okay. there, we can paste. See, see, you are you are telling in terms of automation perspective. Okay, that is also fine. But in manual perspective, see, it is not possible to change all the test cases. For yes, example. yes. Let's suppose for one build you have uh, you have written 250 test cases for the second build uh, for one build let's suppose you have 250 test cases then from second build there is ui got change again and again so you are going mm -hmm. to change all 250 test cases no sir in that case we can go for the api testing also okay okay Means, but, uh, but what what exact approach you should like see huh, let's suppose can, we have, right now let's i can suppose, think about the api testing only okay 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 and 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 any more like and although like we have api test case it is uh the test case sheet as well right or the what we can say suit as well in that yeah. also like let's suppose the requirement got changed requirement in the sense ui has got changed then you will also going to change whole api test cases as well no in case of apis that this won't happen because apis are the uh, middle middle component middle component between the uh, ui in front end okay. and the back end okay. so i don't think uh, api have to change again and again okay. so in this case as a qa what should i suggest or what should i do first of all i'll go go with i will discuss with the developers I will lock the, I will tell BA to prepare one particular wireframe, right? Okay. Wireframe or what we can say and the UX, right? Or the, what we can say with the mockups, we can say, right? If okay. the mockup has got fixed from the client side, okay, what we yeah. can say, if the yeah. requirements has got locked up, okay? So then yeah. these things cannot be happen, happen again and again. Yes, right? yes, right. So, so right. there is no need to go oh, on no, API no, level. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes, yes. From so user only, we have to fix that structure of UI. And then huh, only from, we have from to... client side, from client yeah. side, we have to fix that structure. Exactly, so right. we can, we can approach, we can approach to BA or we can say like, uh, like we have to lock that particular UX and it should not be get changed. Although if it got changed, then you can say we can take it as the CR for the same. Okay. Right. So, right, so right. this will be the right way according to me. Okay. But okay, it okay. should also have some different perspective. But as per my thinking, this should be the best rather than go in API and all. Yeah. Yeah, that will be right. complicated. So, so, so in, in simple words, we can say, right? 
okay. like this. Okay. So can you tell me, uh, you have any idea about testing terminologies? What type of testing terminologies you have used? Uh, testing terminologies can be mentioned uh, like uh, different testing terminologies like uh, monkey testing, um, okay. exploratory mm -hmm. testing, ad hoc testing, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, globalization testing. Okay, globalization one, okay. Uh, okay. This much I can think about right now. Okay. Big bang testing will, will be there. Big bang testing works. Which one? Which one? Big bang testing. What is that? Please explain. Means uh, the whole system will be tested in one through means in one shot only. Okay. Okay. Whole so, system. Okay. Okay. So one is in big bang testing and another is incremental testing. In in which incremental testing there are three types: top down, bottom up, and sandwich. Okay. So so can you tell me? So then what is uh, integration testing? Integration testing means we are integrated uh, uh, the different modules and uh, tested whether they are uh, working fine with uh, uh, data, whatever they are exchanging. Uh, okay. There are three types of integration testing, bottom up, top down and uh, sandwich approach. Uh, okay, in so, so, can you tell me, so can you tell me whether incremental testing and integration testing is same or different? Uh, Yes, sir. They are different. Incremental, are different. incremental testing. Uh, okay, so you have you have told in incremental testing we have three different types. No, of sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sir. It's... So, okay, okay. So please don't be get confused. In, in incremental testing is somewhat different one. In integration testing we have top down, bottom up, and sandwich approach. Okay. Yes, so in that, can you explain me what is sandwich approach? Uh, in sandwich approach, suppose uh, we don't have uh, the main module with us as well as the sub module with us. We have the middle one and uh, we are going to replace the main module as well as the sub module with the uh, temporary programs, which are called as uh, for uh, main module, it will be called as driver and for sub module, it will be called as uh, stub. And with the help of the stub and driver, we are going to check our uh, sub module. Okay, then check our means we usually used to check our that module. Okay. Yes. Uh, for with the help of that stuff file and the driver file. So can you tell me what is the extension of that file? Uh, the extension of sub uh, sir, it will be uh, uh Visdel, sir. Yes, Visdel will be there. WSDL. WSDL. Okay, so basically the extension of that file is nothing but an XML format. We can say that file is present in, in the X, XML format. Okay. Yeah. So uh, okay. Uh, so can you share your screen? Like? Yes. Okay. What should I open, sir? Notepad. Uh, no, you can share your entire screen. Like. Okay. Okay, is it visible? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Your screen is visible. Okay, so just uh, open a new tab. Okay, in that, uh, what you can say, just type word to PDF converter. Word to PDF converter. Okay, you can Second. click on this first one. Convert word to PDF. I love word to PDF. That one. Okay. Just click on that. Yes. Okay. So let's suppose you have you have this particular website. Okay. Okay. You have this particular website, and uh, in this, what you can say, you can convert word to PDF. Okay. So yes, you have to uh, what we can say. You have to implement the BVA approach, boundary value analysis, for this particular website. So how you can uh, put your boundary value analysis, uh, what we can say points over here, like or the how you can put BVA approach on this particular website. Have you got my question? Yes, sir. I have got your question and I am already thinking about BVA approach and I came across this BVA uh, while uh, inserting means uh, accepting the values from text box uh, where there will be some fixed range means uh, if we are entering the password or something then uh, the range will be there. The password should be long, uh, 12 digit long or, or 8 digit long. For, uh, 
for uploading the file i don't think so there will be uh, the the password. Right, right. okay okay so so can you uh, tell me like what approach you can use like to implement the db for this one so one sec let me think about it okay 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 take take your time mm. or you can you can write the you can also open the notepad by by your end and you can just type what we can say the two to three test cases for the same positive one and negative one also and in that you can add two bba test cases for me but for uh, uploading the word file uh, it should be only one word file that will be the bva okay and another <laughs> i'm not sure in this case about bva sir okay uh, so uh, so you can write uh, the some uh, three positive test cases and three negative test cases on the notepad for okay. this particular okay. website you can directly write the scenarios there is no uh, need to like uh, you can directly write scenario to verify that okay okay, okay. You, you you can write as per your own convenience sir. okay click on this button this button should be clickable <laughs> Once we select, then window will appear. error that will be the negative scenario okay. so it will be get and after that test case 6 <coughs> convert in pdf Means uh, I haven't mentioned it in detail, but uh, when we click uh, go to the URL, the URL will be visible with a success code of 200. Then after uh, clicking on select word file, our uh, new window should be popped up from which we can select the file. And uh, once we upload it, it should be uploaded properly. And uh, this will give uh, some negative scenarios means uh, if any problem uh, while uploading, then it will be you will throw some error and the last one will be uh, it is successfully converted into pdf okay so you can also tell uh, gauri the negative scenario is like let's suppose if you are uploading the uh, word file to pdf right so yes word word to pdf and you try to upload the pdf file then PDF. It should throw ah, error. Right. okay so, right, so this will be the is. one uh, this will be the one proper negative scenario what we can yes, say. Okay. Yes. Let's suppose <clears throat> you are trying to upload, you, you are doing word to PDF. Okay. You are doing word to PDF and yes. you try to upload somewhat like XML file or the CSV file for okay. the same. That, that other than PDF, well. other than word. That, huh, huh. So, so then you can, you can say likewise, this will be the proper negative test cases for the same functional yes. negative test cases. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, so you can you can just uh, type, uh, control A and delete all this context for the same. Okay. Yes, sir. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can do one thing. You can minimize this uh, notepad. Okay. 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 So uh, you have this button in front of you, right? Select yeah. the word file. Okay. Yes. Just find me the expat for this. Expat. Yes. Yes. But um, I I don't want that copy expat. Wala. I want proper expat, right? So you just do and copy expat. That that I I won't recommend. Yes. I want proper expat, right? Okay. From inspect, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, here only. This you can take button. your time. I don't know. Like I can't help you. In this Sorry. I can't help you in this question. I will help you after after. Uh, no, no, I know, sir. Uh, what happened? Recently, we are using uh, selector hubs only. Now nah, that's why it is little yeah. confusing. Before yeah. one and half year almost, I have created this, but right now uh, I'm not able to recall it. Can, something can, I can know, means uh, something like uh, double hash and uh, a, yeah, a is, tag name. Fine. Just 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 tell me the unique part. Although, like I am also using the selector of, but we won't recommend to you. So we can discuss that part later. You can just uh, type uh, type the expert for this. Or oh, something like tag name, which will be at the right ID. This much I can recall, sir. ID from uh, ID equal to whatever ID this button will contain. So, see for the expert, you can do just inspect element. Okay, you can do Control F, find. You can do just Control F. You can just remove all that uh, stuff that you have typed. Okay. Yes. You can do Control F, Control F. Control F. Okay. So yeah. you can now you can click on that uh, what we can say that mouse icon. Uh, just just inspect that particular element. This Left one. Click and this one okay so so you can type like double slash tag name is uh, what we can say span span double slash yeah. uh, double slash span is no 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 double slash span okay, span, span. S -P -A -N. or you can just copy from the, the, the tag name okay you can yes. do that uh, square bracket square bracket text name text name equals to select word from files text name t e x t t e x t T E X T text name text name in, in quotation in quotation quotation what we can say right and just uh, once again inspect that element and select that text and put over there. Mm -hmm. No, you can also do one thing. You can also do left click and inspect over there. So it will be the exact. Just left click and inspect again. Just left click and inspect again. Yes. Okay, you can yes. you can use that. Uh -huh. You can use the select word file. You can just double click on that and copy paste over. There. So there will be the list what you can say. Okay. Yes. Okay. So why is that not come? Okay. So for that you have to use before. Uh, you have to give the parentheses, open parentheses and close parentheses before the text name. Before the text name. What before the text name. No, no, no. After the text name, equal okay, for select. Uh -huh. For select. No, no, no. Uske, uske pehle, uske pehle. Text, text yeah. name. Ha, us, ha, ha. Yeah, pehle. Try to. No, 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 no. You have to just close over there only. Okay. Why it has not come? Select double slash tag name. I guess it is one of the SVG element. So yeah. we have to go over there and we have to. It is under the anchor tag. Under anchor tag. It is present under the SVG. Okay. You can just change the name of that. Uh, what we can say. SVG and span. You can just change the name of that tag. You can change the name of that tag. Uh, you have used the uh, span. You can go with the SVG. Or the SVG is somewhat different, I guess. SVG. SVG. Can you try it? So I uh, I will come 
back to you this maybe now what what is the scene has happened it is comes under the svg and svg tag has some somewhat what we can say the different uh, one, like syntax for the same okay yeah for so under uh, so so under the description i will put uh, the expert for the same okay so, okay. so th this is also the new for me basically it is present under the span we have to go with the anchor tag basically it is present under the body of this particular anchor tag right? yes okay. Okay, mm -hmm. no issues for the same. Uh, can you uh, can you like open the notepad and uh, can, okay. can you open the notepad and can you write the program for find uh, find the maximum of the three numbers? Let's suppose we I have 20, 30, and 40. In that 40 is the maximum. So uh, please write the program for the same. Find max of three numbers. Okay. And so using for loop, etc. Uh, yes, you can you can use any any approach. You can go with if else or what you want. But try to use as much as simple approach you can. Or you can also use nested if for the same. Means so I'm asking uh, whether these uh, numbers are in list or something. No, no, no. See, <clears throat> type a equals to ten. A equals to ten. Okay. Comma. Or, or you can take a equals to 15. 15. 15, 1, 5. Uh -huh. uh, b equals to 10. Comma, c equals to 30. So 30. in these three number, in these three numbers, the 30 is the maximum, right? So I yes. have to find the uh, which is the maximum within these three. Okay. Have you got the program? The simplest way I can think about is uh, using the if loop. Okay, you can you can implement for the same, okay. or you can just uh, write the pseudocode for the same. There is no right. To do, right? No, no. B is greater than B. Yes, sir. I'm done. done. Yes, sir. Did you think it is right? I can think just, about just, only just, right just tell me, just tell me how many percentage like you are confident about this school. Just tell me in percentage. Me, I'm confident, but uh, I don't think this is a good approach because line of code is uh, maximum. We can okay. short it so, out. Okay, okay, so can you stop sharing your screen? I will, I'll okay. share my screen and we'll tell you the same. Just wait a second. Okay.
screen. Is my screen is visible? Yes, sir. Now it is. Okay. So uh, as as I have told you, right? Like you can you can use the uh, approach approach for the same is like let's suppose you have main main function okay in that you have the parenthesis for the same thing in yes. that you have taken in that you have taken let's suppose in a equals to 10 okay you can also declare for the same likewise okay c equals to 30 okay likewise or or you can also give the individual that's not the, <coughs> that's not an issue from our end okay so yes so basically what you what we can use we can use the function such as if if is what we can say a is greater than b okay and, yes. and we can use is like and ampersand operation and and operation yes. means a is greater than b or we can say a is greater than, greater than c yes sir. C. to minimize the line of course this uh, will work to minimize to minimize the line of code you can also go with this parenthesis in in yes. sop what you can store in sop means i'm just writing as a row okay so max of max of a okay yeah so what we can say max of a okay. after that we can do is like plus for the same okay for yes. the short point of view okay means max of a what you can say okay. yes so after that we can use same one okay we can use for b one. and c if, uh, for for b and the c c okay. right so just, just we have to use b is greater than a means b is b is greater than a or what we can say is b is c greater than is c greater than c okay. means, uh, b is greater than c and so yes. just here we have to do plus b okay then after that what we can say is uh, so I, I know that this approach many many like uh, who one is seeing this may also come up with different approach but as the easiest approach what i'm thinking as of yes, now, yes. Is we can be 100 percent sure that uh, we will get maximum number of it. Huh, yes yes so this is uh, c is greater than a, what we can say and finally we can say c is greater than b and here is the max of c okay so yes. this we can say uh, the main actual core, lo uh, core logic for the same what is the mm -hmm. uh, greater than means from the three numbers which one is greater from this uh, you can came to know that for the same okay? yes so yes. Uh, okay so uh, just one uh, last question can you tell me something about your project like uh, uh, how many number of test cases you have written in your whole uh, what we can say in whole uh, tenure of the software testing any any figures you have like uh including etl also all, yeah. all types of test cases around uh, three to four hundred test cases in three years in you have written in three years you have written 300 test cases how this number is justified uh, means i don't know the exact number sir but around 400 but, no, it's it, it it wouldn't be 400. It will be more than 4,000. What you can say. Right? Okay. So I say, I say just remember that what we can say. Just try to have the numbers. Okay. The the interviewer may ask you like what type of means. Basically, they usually used to heard the numbers from the QA. Why why I am asking this? If we know our numbers, so it is what we can say. It is easy to con uh, convince convince to. Uh, the person who is taking the interview so right so you have to be handy with your number it will be won't like that you should know the exact number but it should be the rough amount what we can say yeah. and same with go with the bug okay means how many bug you have rest okay so uh, can you tell me like something about your project like... uh, yes sir in automation we are working in healthcare domain and uh, for that uh, we are collecting all the data from uh, patients uh, to man maintain their uh, history in so uh, medical history and uh, in which uh, we are uh, also uh, developing a report uh, for what means uh, uh, the report can be accessed by patient also uh, which medical they are using sorry which medicines they are using what improvement there should be done uh, regarding the exercises or uh, 
or the food and all uh, in text like this. Okay. We have developed all this using framework uh, PyTest. PyTest framework, okay. I mean, whether uh, PyTest framework, whether it is hybrid one or data driven, or what is that? Yes, data driven, sir. Data data driven framework, okay. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, just one thing. Uh, can you tell me like uh, one SQL command? Let's suppose <clears throat> I have uh, in my database currently 100 records are present. Okay. And okay. newly I have added somewhat 10 records. Okay. And I have okay. to see the latest record on my top of the uh, DB. So, which type of query you will use then? To fetch the latest my question. Yes, yes, I got it. We don't want the history record. We just want the latest one, the 10 records we have recently added. Uh, for that, uh, if we have uh, some uh, data column or uh, date time column, we can use that. Otherwise, uh, we can uh, fetch uh, by using uh, row ID element, which will give the latest number of rows entered into the table. For that, we will use max row ID and uh, the table will be uh, arranged according to the row number sorry row id numbers and uh, top 10 will be the recent one we will uh, for that we will uh, uh, insert the select top 10 star from the table that okay, top so 10 will work for uh, okay. recent so for for a single query you have written like more than i guess four to five lines right you can just go with the order id by descending so by using descending one you will get the record which is entered top at the top of the okay means id is also okay i was thinking ID. about by, the by, using, table and by using id by using id you can take yes, by sir. using order id by dsa or something that table name or not yes, yes. giving a, a only a order short, short only give the order of that id just, and just sort the, just sort in, in the descending way you will get uh, the same Okay, so uh, I'm done with your interview, uh, Gauri. It's like uh, you are pretty much good. You have good confidence for the same. Okay, but uh, what I will suggest you you have given your introduction is best. That's that's absolutely fine. And like you have the experience. Uh, <clears throat> secondly, like you have, but what I will suggest be handy with your numbers. Okay, handy with your numbers in the sense if anyone asks you, like even though you awake at the morning and if anyone asks you like how many test cases you have written you should be very good with your numbers okay okay, okay. so secondly with how many test cases you have written and how many number of bugs it is yes. not only up to you the video which who are seeing this okay so I'm, I'm also telling to the each and every person so be handy with your number basically so it is good uh, what we can say okay uh, secondly <coughs> Uh, your your gesture and posture is best like try to be in confident what we can say and uh, secondly uh, uh, so but don't be too much dependent on the selector hub right so even though there is svg element is present even though i also like uh, forgot some what we can say that svg element ka, kya bolte hai hum usko? Yes, this uh, uh, syntax we can say but i'll uh, update it in the description box so that's not an okay, issue okay. i will also work uh, on it okay okay so you can you can work on that and try to see you have to use selector hub when and and i'll won't recommend like each and every company uh, let's suppose won't allow you to use selector hub okay yeah. it will won't allow you to use selector hub so try to be handy with the proper expert what we can say yeah. okay and um, as you have experience in automation as well so try to be like some of what we can say basic codes uh, which is like prime numbers what we can say okay yes, or yes. the max of three numbers or the programs which which having the string let's suppose the manipulation of the uh, string uh, reverse of the string yes, palindrome, yes. Pa palindrome and all see uh, as a QA, we have to just know the basic thing and uh, mm -hmm. the logic for the same. If you don't know the logic, you can just uh, uh, do that program again and again. So you'll come to know that what is the exact logic for the same. So yes. this uh, this uh, thing, if you are like, uh, you, if you work on this particular thing, then you are good to go for the interview. Uh, yeah. So that's it from my, my 